welcome to my vlog. If you've not been before, my name's Julie of Crafty Juju Designs. Welcome. Thank you for checking out my uh, YouTube channel and uh, what I do. So yeah, I'm Julie. Hi. I'm going to get there first because I usually get in a ramble and forget, so I've done it now. So hi. <laughs> it's still hot here in the UK. Fellow UKers, I'm with you. We're suffering. We can't deal with heat as much as I love the sunshine and I love summer and summer, but it gets to a point this heat is getting too much. I've constantly got the fan on. My, at night I'm not too bad, but my husband likes to, has to have the fan on because he gets so bad, so putting up with it. But luckily I can sleep through that. I can sleep through that. I like white noise. It doesn't matter. It helps me. I'm sure it does actually. But anyway, so yeah, this week it's a bit all over. Today I'm going to be starting to work. I've got some orders to work on, first of all. And then I'm hopefully going to make, if you saw my vlog last week, you'll have seen I started making this little wedding display decoration I'm trying to work design. I didn't make enough flowers so I've got to make some more of those flowers first. So I'm going to try and do that today. Uh, before I do that though I've got planner to do for this week so yeah my planner I've had it eight weeks I still love it I'm still in love with my planner it works for me every week I am seeing what I am managing and then I cross them out yellow pen and they come to the end of the week and you're like I did it I did it all some days yeah I don't do it on the day I've planned but um that's when I have a bad day see when I'm a bad day tired day body doesn't want to move because it's just ONG and some and the heat this week but this last week has been um, I've not done it on the day I set but then I've had days where I've felt better or the jobs have not took as long as I thought they'd do so I've managed to add them onto other days and still cross them off so it still makes me feel great which is really helping my mental health anyway so if, yeah if you want something to help your mental health and you're a bit like me and thinking you're not getting up to much because you, you're unable to with your disabilities and everything and you want to make yourself more feel more positive anyway it helps me feel more positive it's all right my, my husband and my kids saying look mum you've done stuff you've done this you've done that you've done so much this week in my head i'm thinking have i really have i then i look at this i've written it down i've crossed it out yeah i've done it so yeah that helps a lot so definitely another thing this week i got some parcels i've got some parcels to open so i'll open them with you uh, shortly and towards the end of this week I have been doing this on and off for the last 20 years when me and my husband's got together he did, he drew me this cat picture these cat doodles and ever since he did that my head was oh these would be amazing uh, stationery key rings jewelry toys yes I tried to make a toy once last one of the times I really got into the idea of doing this I made a, a mock-up of a stuffed toy he's in one of my many boxes don't worry I didn't get rid of him but he never got finished but he's he's still he's still with me and um yeah it'd start and then something else to take over but now the kids are older like I've said before if you've seen my last vlogs now the kids are older I'm gonna I'm gonna do it excuse me <laughs> sweatiness yes I'm gonna do it now this is this is the time to do it so this is the picture I don't know if you can see the cats to the frame this is what he did me in 2000 how cute are those yeah so for the last 20 oh god yeah 23 years I've been uh, telling myself we're gonna do something with them now my husband's not bothered he likes to just do his drawing when he wants to do his drawing but I've always been business mind because I've always wanted to like I said told you before I've always wanted to have my own business and I'm at that stage and I know no now I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna succeed might take a long time might not be easy but I'm gonna keep trying and it keeps me busy too so there's, a, there's another positive there well anyway the first time we um, I said to my husband oh, I really want to make these into something when the kids were god they were toddlers so yeah because I had Alex and then we had Emily three years later so in between there there wasn't much time you know it's like if you've got kids you know it's like when they're a baby and a toddler till they go to school you don't really get much time so yeah once they went back to school went to school and had a few hours of my day we, we started I got Gavin to start drawing more for me so I've got a sketchbook full of little doodles he did and things and then I carried it on and I did lots in here so I was going to say I carried it on and I made two years I think it's two years ago in might during the end of lockdown I started doing the designs as characters for my friends so these cats are actually character trolls would you say character trolls? I don't know if that's the right word of my friends oh here you go there's the, the printout is it gonna focus focus on the printout come on I might have to do a screenshot of this to show you later because he's not 
He just wants to keep focusing on me. Not me, right. I'll put it there in a sec. There you go, there it was. Um, yeah, I made my friends that during lockdown. Uh, to, yeah, I think it's towards, if they'll have to remind me because it's pa time is passing by so quickly. Yeah, it's during lockdown anyway, to, probably towards the end. Is a, Hi friends, hope you're doing all right. Miss you guys, the kind of gift. So yeah, we've got the Minnie Mouse is, let me show you the sketchbook, it'll be easier. Right, we've got Harry Potter. I've got a friend Jen, mad on Harry Potter, so I had to do her that. And then I've got a friend Rachel who's mad on Disney, so I did her a Minnie Mouse version. And then we've got my friend Kerry, loves books and running. So it's a reading cat with the running medals. Oh, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus today, sorry. And then I've got a friend who loves giraffes, so of course it had to be in a giraffe costume. Super cute. And then me in the middle, I just did a simple one looking like my cat Dave holding a heart to say hi so yeah start doing that and then I start doodling Christmas ones and yeah it went there I won't keep going on about it but anyway that's that's what I want to start this week my plan for June in my diary planner going back to the planner I planned a list of things I want to um, complete in June and June I put start sketching for Juju kittens so that's what Juju kittens is if you've been to my website and you thought well, what's this coming soon on Juju kittens well that's what it is um, I thought by the end of June I need, well I want to and I need to really because I need to get going. I've got so many ideas in my head I've just not got doing it anyway. So yeah I'm going to get doing it. And so to help me on my way because I've realised having a posher planner for some reason I'm actually keeping up with it. I don't know why it works but I used to I used to buy cheap planners, cheap diaries all the time, never kept up with them but yet having this one I don't know if it's because it cost me a bit more so I'm like no I'm going to use it, I've got to use it, it might be that, it might be psychological <laughs> it's making me use it. Anyway I thought I'd treat myself to a nice posh sketchbook after my birthday. So this is to do my future drawings in for the cat Juju Kittens station around this bag. Look at that, it comes in a little velvet bag, it's own little protective bag, that's how posh it is, okay? I don't think I owned a sketchbook so posh, even when I was at uni or college, I don't think I did. But anyway, get it out, I went for orange because it's a different colour to this, and it's a different colour to my order book, so I'll know which one I'm grabbing when I go for it. And of course it's got a lion on the front, if you know me, I love my cats, so yeah, I had to have the lion one. And then it's got this gorgeous paper in it. So yeah, really nice paper that I can do all my media, mixed media on. So that's going to be where Juju Kitten starts. So yeah, keep keep tuned in and I'll show show you how I'm getting on with it. And I'd say, hopefully, I'm hoping in, the top, in my head, I'd like to launch the first Juju Kitten's uh, bits and pieces. I'm not going to say exactly what it's going to be because it needs to be a surprise. Yeah, the Juju Kitten's bits and pieces um, in October. Oh no, it comes at the end of October, don't we? So yeah, some of those ideas in my head, you see. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to get done hopefully by the end of this week. So that's that. And in between all that, I'm getting this cut tomorrow, finally. It's been a year. It's very long. It doesn't look so long when it's in pigtails, but when it's out down, it goes down to my waist. So I've had it long for a, a while now. I don't say a long time, a while now. And I'm tempted to go a bit more choppy, a bit... Not bob, because whenever I had a... I always had a bob as a child. And my mum always made me have a bob as a child and yes it, it curled under lovely i didn't have to do anything with it it was it just did its own thing but i think because i had that so much as a child and a teenager i'm like no i can't i can't have that style that's why i ended up growing out but now it's like it's getting on to seven eight years now i've had it probably longer than that long so now i'm thinking i'm gonna go with chop here i've got to look on pinterest but my sister-in-law's a hairdresser and she's gonna do it for me tomorrow she's never wanted to really touch my hair because it's so thick but i'm like Oh, excuse me again sorry I'm paying her for it obviously as a client so I says well if I'm paying you as a client please cut my hair <laughs> she's gonna do it for me so yeah getting that done tomorrow so tomorrow afternoon I'll try I'll, I'll try and remember to get a, a before and after picture for you all when it's all down and fuzzy and then hopefully all cut and fresh and lighter that's the thing as well with this heat this heavy hair does not help in the heat so yeah that's my week I'm bumbling bab babbling sorry um I think I've said everything I'm going to be doing, as always. So yeah, and I'm, as I always say, let's get on to this week, shall we? See you in a bit.
guys, it's Wednesday. Uh, yesterday I got the hair cut, feels so much better. Feels weird to have it down and it's one of those things because I have quite thick hair, it feels like there's hardly anything left there now. <laughs> but hopefully it'll keep me a lot cooler in this heat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and have it down a bit more because what's the point of having it cut if I'm just gonna still tie it back. So yeah, that was yesterday. So didn't do much other than have my hair cut yesterday. So that's why I wasn't around. But today I have got two orders to concentrate on first of all one being a wristlet in the swirls fabric my 1970s style fabric i've got and the other being a marvel guest book one of my large ones now i've done one of these for a while since i changed my uh, separated my wedding business from my gift shop business on etsy so it's nice to see i'm being seen and yeah i've got an order through so i've got that to do i'll show you that as i'm going through the process and then I'm hoping to finish, either today or tomorrow, finish the flower display. If you saw my vlog my vlog last week, you will see me doing an Alice in Wonderland, um, doing a, mocking together a table decoration, possibly for weddings in Alice in Wonderland book paper. So I, yeah, and if you've seen last week, you've seen I was a few flowers short. So I've made the flowers, I've actually made six more flowers. So I hope that'll be enough. Now I want to um, think about the how I'm going to put the table number within the item and then I'll show you that tomorrow. So yeah, that's my day planned. Bit all over the place with orders, getting it all done, trying to keep cool. So let's get on with it, shall we guys? busy week well feels like a busy week I've got lots of little jobs done this week um, where would I start right the big, biggest thing for me anyway this week I am very good at saying I'll, I'll make things and do things and then I get distracted by doing something else there's a lot of us like that I've always been like that I start one job then I think of something else so I start another job and then I have loads of jobs on the go I wonder why I ever finish anything so yeah this year as I say, I will succeed at getting my businesses going. I am making the, well, I won't say effort, I'm making sure I finish jobs I start. So if I have an idea and I start that idea, I'm going to finish it before I go on to the next one. Otherwise, I'm just going to be stuck in the same circle of doom, basically, of never getting anywhere else further than I am. So yeah, you may have seen that if you follow me already on in social media. I'm being a lot more productive on my socials and making a lot more this year. So you can, hopefully you've seen... I've started with the whole making more, sure I produce more, I blog, vlog more, that's the new thing for this year, vlog more, and share my new, new stuff and get it all listed on straight away because I'm very good at making, also very good at making new items for my shops and never getting around to listing them. I think I've still got three scrunchies to list, Alice in Wonderlands I said I had new and I still haven't listed them so that that is one of my jobs in the next couple of days I'm getting them listed <laughs> but yeah apart from them I've managed to list everything else that I have made new this year normally I make something then I go oh it's that boring bit where I've got to take all the photos I've got to edit it all then I've got to put it all on and if you 
you with Etsy it seems to take forever with my website it's quite quick and cheerful but with Etsy it all seems to take a long time but we have to do it if I'm going to get them out there I need to put them on there so yeah that's this year's thing and I, I, we're into the end of June now I think I'm uh, getting into I finally uh, I finally I think I finally getting there so anyway I've got to get there because I want to start working on my uh, project I've been trying been working on on and off for the last 20 years Juju Kittens um, at the beginning of this vlog you'll have seen me give you a quick intro to what Juju Kittens might be or where it insp I'm inspired by it from so yeah that that's tomorrow's job Friday because it's Thursday today so tomorrow I'm going to start sketching I did put my planner Wednesday but other things got in the way uh, other th jobs I needed to finish so yeah I made sure I finished because <laughs> otherwise I could have quite happily sat down and started sketching but yeah I needed to finish that job like I've just said prior if I don't finish that job I end up with loads of jobs and then it's again back into that vicious cycle of never finishing anything so yeah if you're like me and you do the same pop a message below let me know that I'm not the only one I can't be the only mad one that starts a job then starts another job as quickly as you start the first job <laughs> so yeah right I'm babbling that's another thing I do as you know if you've watched a lot of my vlogs you'll see I just go off on a tangent so yeah there we go anyway the thing I finished this week was my table plan my Alice in Wonderland floral uh, table stand so yeah I've done that and then I've got Mad Hatter on the top as an example with a colour bow the, what is going to be the option you usually be able to have whatever colour bow you need so whatever goes with your your theme um, if you want to just buy the box I'm going to do that option as well so you could have it as a house decoration you don't actually have to have it for a wedding but this is where the inspiration came from because I wanted to do a whole Alice in Wonderland wedding collection because I already do the Alice in Wonderland guest book and flowers and Hindu book and a card box but I've always wanted to branch into the stationery so it all you can get all everything you want in the same place I also do gift uh, goodie boxes for kids as well so yeah <laughs> I uh, want to make the whole whole collection match so you can get everything in one place if that's what you're after so yeah I've done these so I'm going to give the option you can either have the teared edge that matches the uh, guest books but some people I know do prefer because they have they do ask and I do do it prefer a straight edge so I'll offer both straight edge as you can see there and I'll offer the ripped edge there if you like the more rustic look but yeah there's the box so I'm going to get some photos of that I'm going to take photograph uh, some product photographs of that for my um, Hi. for my uh, Etsy shop and website wedding shop um, oh also didn't sorry I did add the tool in the end you can see it's there a little bit of tool all the way around just to make it hide that green inside and I pulled a bit up inside but yeah yeah like I said get photography done on that side I've got to decide where I'm doing it either outside because or in here it's a bit it's too big for my light box so I might take it outside because my lavender's in bloom at the moment it looks good well one of my large lavenders is in bloom at the moment it looks gorgeous I might try and prop it up around that and have that as my backdrop what do you think I think it could look nice I did flowers in front of it last year the Alice Wonderland flowers first one of my listings and it, it, it did pop a bit more because of the colour behind it so yeah I'm gonna try that I'll try that and we'll see where we get with that that's next week's job anyway well tomorrow or Saturday's job I'm at because like I say I want to get this done gone out of the way so I can start my next job which is the Juju Kittens so yeah I'm gonna get into that also <laughs> excuse me still very warm in the UK might cool down a bit but it's a bit clammy a bit humid <laughs> Um, yes, then I said I go off on a tangent. I suddenly realised uh, July I was planning on releasing my uh, Halloween collection. So I've already got some things listed in my drafts ready to go on my Etsy for Halloween, some bookmarks and that. And then I've separated out uh, charms, a big bag of charms. Already separate, you can't really see that because it's all shiny in the sun. But yes, I've already separated out quite a few of my charms that I think are very apt for Halloween my daughter's already eyeing them up even though I've not made anything yet I showed her what I'd got out and she was ooh, she loves earrings so I know I'm gonna probably end up losing a few of them too in my last collection if you saw my vlog and you you follow me you have seen I did a punk rock gothic style collection yeah she's already eyeing up a few pieces of that as well so we'll see I might have something left in my shop in the end I might not but I'll take it as a compliment because uh, she's 16 next week so obviously I'm doing the right thing if she likes it teenagers always know don't they young teenagers old and young 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 people know and if they like it you must be doing the right thing that's how I've always thought anyway 
I'm 42, I'm not that young anymore. So what I see cool is, is it cool? But if she says it's cool and she likes it, I'm like, oh, obviously I'm on the right wavelength. That's me anyway. I might be wrong, but <laughs> I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Just hope, hope I'm getting it right. Yeah, that's in the next few days. Again, make them, for te take photographs of them, get them listed into the shop next week, hopefully. Ready for beginning of July. So yes, it's July and I'm advertising Halloween. But in August, it'll be Christmas stuff coming. Yes, that C word again has been mentioned. Us business people, every year I say I'm going to start listing my Christmas stuff in August, like most people do, who are good, successful businesses. But every year I get to end of October and I still have done it and I, then I start listing and then I don't get many sales. So this year, I'm gonna try what's suggested. Christmas, August, release. So QVC do it in July, so at least I'm not doing it that early. I'm not that crazy. Halloween first, to get Halloween first. So yeah, that, that's my plans for the next few days. And um, yeah, as always, hopefully I'll see you next week. Remember, uh, if you watched my vlog last week, if I can get us to, uh, if you can help me get to 100 subscribers, I will have a giveaway for you lucky subscribers out there. I'll make a box up of goodies for you all for the winner. Just need to help me bump up to that 100 subscribers. So please like, share and tick the bell so you get my notifications of when I'm back again for any new upcoming updates in my business world and to keep track of the juju kittens if you like cats like me a crazy cat lady it's definitely going to be up your street so please keep in touch keep keep watching if you've got it to the end again let's have a purple heart this week down the bottom please or well, if you want or anything just say hi it'd be nice to know who's watching if anything I know they're helping me but let's see if anyone else is enjoying watching it right to the end Anyway guys, I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.